Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing episode 5. Let's go, baby. And, uh, I got my friend, Monoface here. So. Time for a little payback. I'm away, I'm away. I'm the away. Contessa, having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her castle estate. It's a well-fortified, gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. Terrible or not, that's where we're headed. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a secret member of the Claw Gang, is in possession of the Clockwork Eyes. The Thievius Raccoonus describes the eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. Thus, World War III had started. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to crack the joke. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hey guys, it's me, Monoface. Glad to be back. Finally ready to say more of a piece of my mind into what we've been working on. And so far, if you've noticed on the Reddit, three character sprites have been completed. Can't really... I mean, of course it is fan art, but I can't really say anything. Anyway, the whole thing is basically a project I linked uh, the server in all my videos. If you not have seen the video or any... Have you seen any of the descriptions, I would consider yourself a mental midget. Anyway, I'm kidding. But, hold on. <laughs> Let's see my sweet skills. God. Spectacular. Ugh. Okay, here's the plan. First, take some recon photos around the area. Then, make your way up to the re-education tower. Looks... pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. This is how we, you know, this so is how we. You don't up into little sticky pieces. This is Halloween, this is Halloween. I get that feeling. Well, yeah, I get that feeling too. Just, I mean, POV, you're trying to take a nice, relaxing walk in Ukraine, but a Russian thing goes after you. <laughs> Show the camera thingy. Wah. Up. You guys tank. Hold on. All I have to do is take the picture of the doors. It's a pretty secure location. Yep, apparently. Doors are. Uh, Speaking of doors, uh, the dormitories are where the contestants sleep in this um, particular g video game project. They all have key cards rather than Spanish keys. Because I used to um, go to a nice ski resort hotel where they basically would give you a key where you could insert to the hole and just turn it around. But now they change that from keys to key cards, so it's basically like a standard college room. With the only difference being that, well, of course, using a key card. Oof. Eesh. But to describe, but to describe Sly more, um, though he kind of acts like a complete a-hole to most of the contestants, he actually has some heart and is able to help out with. Uh, guiding the team to basically solve the, uh, the murders. I mean, I don't know how to describe it in many complicated words, so I'll say it simply. He carries the trial with the protagonist. Like, the duo basically just solves every case, lays out the evidence, and busts the truth hopefully. And if you notice the blimp there, Mason, that's another thing I forgot to mention. How, um, basically... Um, I, oh, my game. I'm getting a better view. Sorry. I don't care. Yeah. But ultimately, we're trying to make it that as much of a jerk Sly Cooper is, 
him and Alejandro as a godfather, godson duo basically carry the team to find every single murderer. How they're like, they're basically like the MVPs of every Clash trial. Yep. Ultimately, for Sly, instead of a more smirky look, he, it's more of a still face. As for, um, as I have mentioned in my first interview with him, I forgot to hint out that Sly, for this, Sly doesn't necessarily join willingly uh, in a faction with the Bear Duck, but he more so rather is obligated to do so with the manipulative talk. That's why for the Paradox's character in this particular fan game, we're trying to make him a, somewhat of a manipulative and cunning character. He, uh, despite him being annoyed. Hmm. Shut up, Bentley. Let me do something. Uh, uh, combo combo. Combos. Uh. We. I love wow. the stealth slide, it's so fun. Yeah, true. Oui. The door is from oh god, oh god! Try working your way around to the tower's window. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Ah! I need me some life for. <laughs> got. Wow. How dare you spawn no coin, hold on. Oh, my control is lagging. Ah. I need I need all the money just for like a paraglider. And I remember my first my first time playing this game. I think it was like a year ago. And then it was uh I tried it was this mission. It was the operation. I had to chase oh I had to chase Neela for the second eye. And then I, I just I struggled so hard on it. Even if I had like my paraglider, it was so it was so hard my first time. Yeah, it was, it was like now I just think it's a little easy easier now. Bentley, there's more mm. than just the clockwork eyes up here. Why are you doing this, Neela? She sent me out here. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological One thing I know is his Carmelina's tail is bigger than your entire body. Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learned too much about the claw gun and its spice operation. It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Neela gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward. You're a disgrace to Interpol. I'll make it my life's work to destroy you. Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device... That's another thing I want to mention, how when, and, when Carmelita is in danger, basically she is threatened by Emperor Nefarious in this particular game, uh, Alejandro tries to show his defiance with the other, author, like, with the other good guys, and they throw down their weapons. And specifically, the fairies just laugh as Monokuma scoffs. But the moment Sly Cooper drops his pen, showing that he's not going to kill anyone, that is a particularly major event as it shows Sly is not willing to take one's life. Um, so, it just shows that he's on Alejandro's side. So that obliges the other vigilante bad guys to also drop their weapons as like as to support Sly in saying, well, Sly's got a point. What's what's the reason? Like, what is the gain of trying to kill someone just right now, over nobody killing each other after 84 or 96 hours? But ultimately, it goes to show that Sly has a slight sense of reason. It's like an angry bird. One place would agree with that. <laughs> Those are the 
uh, looks like, like Wendo. Red, looks red. like Wendo's uh, hats with the spinny thing on the top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Happened to hear what I mentioned about the what happens why Sly has a little sense of goodwill in him in himself. Well, ultimately, yeah, we're not trying to make Sly a full antagonist. Like, he is very helpful, but it's just his attitude that could cause a slight fault in what he does. That old terminal should be hard to the systems in this tower. We need to find a way to get it online. All right. Head back to the safe house and we'll get a plan together. I love this music right here. Do, 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 do. So bassy. Bam, 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 bam. The war between Neela and the Contessa has put the castle on high alert. To get at the clockwork eyes, we'll need to subtly manipulate this conflict to our advantage. Why did the eyes turn red? Here's the plan. Murray, oh, sneak into the castle and kidnap the head of security. I want to ask him a few questions. Meanwhile, Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. I'll slip into the crypts beneath the castle and put together a bad mojo bomb. It should be enough to destroy the mind shuffler. Sly, you capture a few local ghosts and drop them into Neela's headquarters. Hopefully the near-death experience will inspire her to purchase more mercenary firepower. We've all got our assignments. Good luck. And thus, they're planning to start World War IV. I don't know, too many World War jokes this episode might actually make it more corny. Yeah, the bass when he's sleeping. Hold on. I'm gonna do the bad mojo. I don't like the ghost mission. Hold on. Yeah. So yeah. so fetch quite fet. Fetch bad mojo, you? Alright, I like the kid. I like the bad mojo one better, I guess. Why? Cause you're kidnapping someone for question for answers. No, that's the Murray one. Right. I think that's the Murray one. <laughs> it's just straight up oh, kidnap, kidnap the general. Oh God. Well. Oh god. Actually, I forgot to so hard playing as Bentley in this game. Oh god. I gotta ex I gotta express more of Murray's character in terms of being uh, a contestant in a killing game. The so he's a Yeah, so basically Murray is a man of pure heart. And he wouldn't uh, even if he was manipulated at some point, he would not try to kill anybody. Like it's hard to manipulate Murray. She'd have a bad mojo collector to transport the overflow. That only looks 80. It's a semi magical <laughs> device that sucks up bad <laughs> mojo. I need it to gather the runoff from these spouts. Whoa, sounds easy. Not really. Bad mojo is a powerfully dark force. Take any damage while carrying that collector, and you're done for. Wow, sounds hard. Yes, it presents an interesting tactical challenge. Interesting Perhaps tactical challenge, you say. Native to these crypts, against any interesting as in rhythm? To thwart my collection yep, of the interesting. Huh? No, no way that'll work. I'd use that switch to smash up the guards before they ever got near me. Precisely. Once all four cylinders of the collection device are full, that should be enough black magic to destroy the mind shuffler. I would say that was top five smartest Murray ideas. I I I agree. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oof. I forgot it was one hit. Sorry, God. Like that. 
Oh. Take that. This is very tedious, but I like it. Oof. Talk to. Hey, folks. Fun fact. There have been like when I mentioned once on our on my last interview with um, what kind of sadistic executions there were. There are these, for example, like you could just be sent to a smasher and then have your entire body be crushed to pieces. Mm. Um, as for other contestants, like they're basically they just depend on their talent, or they depend it depends on what they do. <laughs> Look at Bentley's neck. He's not. Giraffe. Yeah. So Bentley, we're also making him an important character because he uses his intellect to basically like identify weapons, um, like murder weapons in this case. So if <laughs> you on, ask, if they ask Bentley, what did you do? He would basically be the man who would let you know. Like, for example, there weren't any pipes at the scene of the crime, nor was there any indication of the head receiving any blunt force in a pipe. Hence, that weapon is not the, the real weapon. I'm about to commit oh, exactly. grave robbery. Dang. Damn. No coins. You know what? Well. This is for ruining everything. Mink. Mm. Hold on. Battery. I'm going the wrong way. Nah. Well, Bentley being the brains of the entire Sly Cooper gang, it's also the reason why he's also one of the important guys in the class trial because not only autopsy reports, he can also tell, like, if certain alibis are solid. Primarily, his expertise is identifying the murder weapon, identifying the motive, and most importantly, though, and this one is something to keep in note, he also holds a key importance in trying to solve the entire, like, situation, like, why they were kidnapped there, who's behind it, like, the mastermind behind the entire thing, who basically was an accomplice with the mastermind? Yeah. So he's the guy to ask when it comes to like, how can you tell that's the murder weapon? How do you know if it's not um, a solid alibi? He's the guy you can talk to in a class trial or ask for help, basically. As we're, but he differs from. Um, he just throws some possible Mila because. No, oh, I just clutched. Mila, I just clutched that. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. But um, with uh, the only difference between uh, Bentley and Constable Mila is that Mila gives Alejandro information about the past killing games and hints in why they basically compare with their scenario. If I could double hit that. Yep. Skilled Bentley gameplay. That was not. That was definitely not safe. Need more time. Oh. Hurry up, machine. I could just watch me beat the last guy by my bare hands. Hold on. Is this the last guy? No. Nope. Maybe. No. Why do you keep spawning? Nope. You aren't. You aren't. Come here. Ah! Come here. Ah! Bad boy. How's he not? Oh. An animal cruelty. <laughs> animal cruelty by an animal. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, it's more like an anthropomorphic character, so. Friendly fire. <laughs> Friendly fire. Come here. So basically, the like Cooper gang. Uh, we're actually gonna mention their like their skills in being in being themselves. Like they have been in pre in many Sly games. So basically, Bentley is the brains of everything. Murray does heavy lifting and is the muscle of the group. So you need to lift a heavy object. If you need to lift a heavy object, he's the guy to talk to. As where Sly just gets random info, like, if you want him to steal something particularly, like from the mastermind, specifically Monokuma, if you may, like a key to open a certain door, then he's gonna sneak that key and try to help the entire gang solve, like bust the entire operation of what apparently they view as an attempt to basically kill everybody. I, I, want, I want to say, uh, this one. So I was like, maybe like Sly is a mixture? Because Bentley doesn't have much strength. Take that. Yeah. And then like, yeah. Bentley has all, uh, Murray has all the strength, but then I was like, maybe Sly is the mix. That's like, he's the, he's really skilled compared to both of them combined. Like, mm -hmm. they're all special in their own ways. But it's like Sly yeah, is the mixed out all of them. So Bentley is a mixture of not only intelligence, but he's also good at his talent in, in hacking, basically. Or in this case, computer programming. That also is important. That's an important mix for Bentley because not only can he get into specific files that Monokuma has hidden, you can also access the information that the gang needs. To... Watch this. Watch me. Watch me outrun all of them. <laughs> a turtle outruns a wolf. Oh, and they are just hitting each other. That's the. Pick that. <laughs> oh. Friendly fire is not tolerated. <laughs> Pick that. And guess. That's just not safe. That's just not safe. Famous last words. Oh. You're right. I did not know that. That was not safe though. <laughs> and she just died at You ready you ready to see something not safe? Woohoo! Yeah, but no, I have uh, nothing. Very... Yeah, if oh, I could do something with disabilities, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. Yeah, I'm broke. <laughs> but um, yeah. Not only is Murray a mixture of um muscle. Actually, I'm gonna write. We can write it that he's actually smart in his own way and makes certain suggestions. Like, for example, what if the kill? What if the killer didn't force open the door, but maybe the victim let it let the killer in hit himself? Mm. But possibly the victim tried to tried to kill the original killer, but somehow the culprit was able to prevail. Hence, he caught he caught, did the murder. So Murray could give out his most educated suggestions of who done it. That's not safe. And... To be honest, I don't mind mentioning that in a cutscene. Yeah, for maybe that's what I also want to mention. How the gang really cares about Sly. So when Sly mentions that he's gonna do something that could get him, like, just get him killed in general, they would be like, that's not safe. We would suggest that you don't do that. Don't be a dumbass, Sly. And, but ultimately, they wouldn't try to insult him. 
they more so have a lot of concern for Sly. That's why they're not willing to see their only friend, the leader of the entire game, just die because of a foolish mistake. So, so ultimately, uh, the good guys, it, like the good guy faction, basically finds Sly to be an important person. Not just for them, but for everyone in order to escape from Monokuma's plan. To, to cause them despair, basically. This is really fun, hold on. What? Our Gachor had a little bit of problems, technical. Technical? I mean, it is. It is. I like, I like, I like uh, how they just stand there for five seconds. <laughs> Once they jump on there. I mean, it's pretty laggy on my side from what I'm seeing. I don't yeah, I don't have Nitro. And ultimately, for, for um, Sly, I think Alejandro would be a guy to be like, listen. Listen, kid. I've already lost. I've already had my daughter this year. Watch out! I'm not gonna totally suck. But basically, even though he's the father-in-law because of Hunter Cooper's will, uh, but he still is very cautious around the slide because he doesn't want to lose him because of a dumb reason. Like, oh. say Sly wanted him to stand up to Monokuma, he wouldn't let him get killed. Ultimately, Constable Neal is, is a mix. This is ultimately proven why I love this mission. Right. Did you see? Did you see what I was doing? Yeah, I saw it all. Animal cruelty. It's okay. I just did it by pressing a button. <laughs> oh God. I I basically Ooh. drugged him. I just sm I just smashed him literally. I um. I don't know, I just burned them. Maybe first degree, second degree, third degree burns, but it's still like first degree murder. I just did it because uh, I have a bad I mean, that's beyond I first degree. No, that's, wor that's worse than first degree murder, in my opinion. Imagine imagine I mean the cops catch you and then you're like, oh, well, I was killing some people because uh, I had to fill a bad mojo collector. <laughs> Then that's just being a cult member, but still, I'm, that is definitely straight up first degree murder. And yes, I mean, after all, it is a felony. Cops don't matter. You want a cop that's here? The cop here. Actually, not first degree murder, but still, that's animal cruelty, and yes, still, that's a felony. Are you trying to just by Bentley by being like, no, it's. It's not first degree murders, animal cruelty. That's still a felony. Yeah. Not really trying to justify anything. I want to kill still. myself. Ugh. I might cut that out. Oh, this is going to take a long time. I just got to kill him. I got to die. Bentley's a turtle. Why can't you swim? Dangerous waters. <sighs> Do your job right, Bentley. For Bentley, he can only have one mistake. Strength? Nah, ne not necessarily. His one true mistake is that he doesn't want to believe that Sly is guilty of an of killing anyone. Because Sly, like, this new Sly wouldn't be so evil to do something so despicable. So if if Sly were to be a killer, he wouldn't believe it. I mean, realistically. Just because Bentley killed people just for a bad mojo collector, so I don't blame him. 
This is where you kidnap the general, huh? Time to kidnap an 80 year old man. I'm gonna say, hey, hey, sir, where's your life insurance? <laughs> Take a swim, won't you? Go, Marie. Oh no. No talk, just punch. <sighs> That's kinda Murray, but not quite. He's more of a guy who can control himself. So basically, if, say someone were trying to bully him for a reaction to punch them, he would have a sense of reason and just completely ignore the person. Hey, Murray, Only if he Murray, had to defend I believe Murray has the most heart out of the whole school. I'd... I just believe that. Mm -hmm. Murray has the most heart of the... of the gang. Yeah, he's basically a... a heart... like he has a very noble heart for a lot of people. Hence why he wouldn't turn to murder, he wouldn't do whatever he wanted. He's basically a loyal person, like, he's loyal to the end. You want you want to use a, a you want to use a hundred year old man as a projectile, Bentley? No, I know you're insane. You kill millions of wolves because you're bad. Ladies and gentlemen, needs we it. got him. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe he actually threw a eighty year old man over somewhere. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we this got him. This is animal. This is animal cruelty to the max. This no, is that's, a, no, that's some just next up, level animal that's, cruelty. That's, <laughs> that's battery. Up, up to this point, that's just battery. And yes, kids, battery is also a felony. Shut up, man. I want to hurt you. Now bring it back to the safe house. I'm barking in your oh. monocular. That makes it worse. Whatever, he's a bat. Just gotta stay. That's what you mean as a projectile. I could just throw him at people. That's battery to the maxis. I could just throw an old man at another young person. Let's go, baby. My favorite activity is throwing an 80 year old man. At other, at other people. Up to this point, if that old man were an entrepreneur, he'd have a lot of. Murray would have a lot of lawyers after him. Mm -hmm. The Murray just killed a 100-year-old man. Ouch. Did he even kill this man? He's invincible, watch. Hold on. I almost spent 30 seconds of my time trying to kill him. Okay. Battery. Please. I <laughs> The tank isn't killing him either. The tank isn't killing him either. We got it. <laughs> I'm gonna spare him. I'm gonna go to the safe house. That's not murder right there. That's just that is just straight up elder abuse. And he throws him again. It's elder and animal abuse. <laughs> That's double. That's a double felony. I can't believe Oh, uh, what is he do? How about a little of this? <laughs> oh, the tickle torture. I thought he was gonna do something else. Huh.
Big boy. Do 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 like cops in this view universe even charge any other person for animal abuse? I mean in a world of furries, I think animal abuse is a form of battery. Like, is their version of battery. Yeah, I can only get battery. Hold on. I'm gonna rob everyone's grave. Wow. That says a lot about today's society. Bro, I can't. I'm trying to fight all these people. Remember, hey, kids, I hate don't this. Don't disrespect e your elder graves. Don't disrespect any year olds by throwing them into other people. That's both elderly assault and battery. <laughs> Kids, don't use a bad mojo collector and start killing about a thousand people right, for it to fully charge. <laughs> oh boy. Remember, kids, don't, infra yeah, don't infiltrate your enemy's base by playing a bunch of ghosts in it. Kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> you're just telling them, don't do this, don't do that. Don't know where you're going with all of this, but... Freeing trapped ghosts sounds vaguely heroic. Don't steal. Free, freeing trapped ghosts, like, they're not Ghostbusters, so. I don't know. Is there, there's no Ghostbusters, go, Ghostbusters in this universe. Of course not, so why are they trapping ghosts if they don't exist? Dang. I forgot I could do this. I, I can't pass through that! <laughs> you saw it on a spike! Those are basically the mixtures of the entire Sly Gang. So one is intelligent, so one is crime solving and hacking, one is muscle and using slightly part of his brain, and the other is a mixture of a good guy and a bad guy. Sum it all up. Big guy. If we do is like a little Easter egg here. Oh, I can't do it. There's like this little Easter egg about like, hold on. Yeah. Oh God. Why? Why cutscene? Why? I no. Didn't I just set these guys free? Why would I want to capture them again? Not to worry. It's only a short-term confinement. Gather all the ghosts, then set them free down the chimney of Thela's headquarters. I get you. She'll think it's a sneak attack from the Contessa. Correct. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, Thela should respond to the Shut up, Bentley. You're, You're not sure right. About that. You're not right. Anything bad not Contessa, always right. For us. <laughs> and we get to really freak out Neela. <laughs> Billy, you just killed I 50 people it. just to fill your mode, fill your bad mojo. And people say you're guilty. Now you're well, right. I'm not. No. And I'm right. Because I'm always right. Yeah, well, in he's, your dreams, well, he's free. Just if they did let him off, that's just corrupt. Hmm. Yeah. 
Oh. I thought I could do that. No. I could use you. Oh, no. Skill gameplay. I just believe this is a hate crime now. Putting ghosts. Not... Put <laughs> doing this is just basically not... a hate crime. How could it be a hate crime if they're dead though? I mean, you're not like you're not like you you're not willing to rest. That's you know the saying rest in peace. You're not you're, you're not willing to rest. That's a hate crime. To me, else ghosts can't do yeah. anything at this point. They can't. Uh -huh. R.I.P. Rocket. Damn. Don't mind me taking pictures of ghosts. Wow. Oh god, oh god. I just be my my own business. I'd be and then I'm just seeing these ghosts come out of nowhere. Yep. I'm just trying to protect I'm just trying to protect uh Connect Contessa. Like, that's the thing I do. That's my job. But not anymore. I just gotta fend off these ghosts. I don't know where these ghosts are. Hold on. I mean, there, there, they, there's one. Oh, ah! They have like really. Sk Look at their. Did you see their like uh, rib cages? Yeah, apparently the Contessa starved them. <laughs> she would do that. Agreed. Maybe that's something. Yeah, but to, that, to that's something that, that's something I don't know and I shouldn't know. I shouldn't know that. Yeah, but to ultimately wrap up the um basically the character of the characteristics of the slide gang. They're yeah, basically, um, some have How dare issues, you please but bombs. spider bombs, spider bombs, spider bombs. <laughs> it's got its foot. Just they... imagine, just imagine if they, if there were spider bombs. To be honest, everyone would die. I don't, yeah, I don't even like spiders. Most people don't. Arachnophobia cause... does exist. I might have it, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to mention that I would, I promised in my last interview, mention something about Ratchet. Well, even though Ratchet is a pure hearted person, he kind of can be a bit of a, a creep. You know, he can get into one space or say certain jokes that really make some people upset. Your mom? For example, actually. I should I should have not said that. It was basically an example. 
I just want to be funny. Oh my god. There's a ghost around here. We. Although, uh, although Rivet does like Ratchet, nobody, like the rest of the ladies, he's ascending. Not a yeah, he's kind of a degenerate guy. Ratchet, can you please stop? Yeah, they're basically saying, seriously, stop it. This is just a hate crime. Why did she run like that? Perhaps it's time I purchase a little air power. A few bombers should put that old charlatan in her place. Australian. I can do a pretty good Australian voice. That, that was no, that was not just Austria. That was also Britain to Germany during World War II. All right, British fellas, I'm, let's I'm get not. down to business. The first steps to escalating the war between like Mila and the Contessa have gone well. well. I mean, I've had we are too. down to the final so, setup yeah, before the, we spring this our is trap. The, the US Sly, the, I need you to steal uh, a voice Britain. modulator from the castle oh, and oh, install it under know, Mila's headquarters. If except, all goes as planned, yeah, it should war. allow us to give orders minutes. to her mercenaries without being detected. Unfortunately, Neela's recent bomber purchase has made her army over-enthusiastic, and they might strike before we're ready. Which leads me to Murray. I need you to hotwire one of the Contessa's tanks and I go to town mission. on the mercenaries. Why is the tank we just so need weird. to intimidate them a little. Like, controlling it. And finally, I'll venture back into the know. crypts to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. We're going to need it to save Carmelita. Oh, and Sly, if you haven't already got one, you'll need to buy a paraglider for the heist. Okay, yeah, let's move out! We know, Bentley. Because you're always right. I'm also. I'm also. Sarcasm. But yeah, I mean, for Bentley, I forgot to mention, he's a bit of a narcissist in the series, because he feels like that he's always right and that he can't be wrong. This will ultimately cause trouble for him as when he feels like that someone can't be the killer, he will be very defensive and try to use his evidence to back it up. Though it I may have come much to of evidence and I can't be wrong because I'm always right. Uh, I don't care. Get me out. Get me in this mission. His head just phases through the ground. But <laughs> look at it! Look at his neck. Wow. Stretchy. It's like one I'm of those. A it's like, it looks like one of those muscle. You know those like stretchy arms and legs, Mr. Armstrong. Oh, that guy. <laughs> yeah. That's that's what it feels like. Where am I supposed to where am I supposed to go? Oh. I gotta get I gotta get out of here. Turtle soup. 
but that'd be good. It would get, it would, it would make me smarter. Oh god. That was a cold insult right there. I want to make turtle soup with your bits. Oh god. Yikes. That could, that actually describes Sly because he will tend to say something like that to Murray, though it it no to Bentley, so it may come at Bentley's annoyance. I kind of double jump. I tried doing it, I guess. I tried. And you try your best, but you don't succeed. Womp womp. Well, to end my time here and to uh, to put this interview in a conclusion, basically, uh, the Sly Gang is going to have a challenge in terms of like, be like, like in the old days when they first started hunting down Clockwork, they're going to have a bit of trouble with trying to stay unified as one and stick on the same page with defeating whoever the mastermind is. Yep. Well, thank you very much for having me, Mason. Hope to see you later okay. on. Oh, oh. Anyway, he's gone. I'm not... <laughs> that was so out of pocket, but anyway. Let's go, baby! I'm gonna take this. It's electric. Nave? Oh god. So the volume, hold on. Hold on. This will take a fat while. I'll get you, Contessa. Oh, how many times must you say that? It's not going to happen. I'm dead serious. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> I mean it. I'll get you. Yes, yes. So I've heard. That was a very fun interview. That's one down, two to go. I had better not take any damage while carrying this battery to the other terminals. It is, after all, filled with acid. Okay, filled with acid? What do you mean by that, Bentley? Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, God. Please tell me I can... Oh god, not again. You can try your best, but you won't okay. succeed. Ready for another session of hacking mastery. Let's go, um I got time to strike, hold on. Oh, that was close, that was close too. Second one. Oh my goodness. I'm out of here. Hmm. Maybe I should approach this. 
through your id instead of your consciousness. Id? It was an id. ID, maybe. Ego. Let's go, baby. One more computer and I can get out of here. Amen. Oh god. Inspector. Yes. Why fight it? Don't you want to be my friend? No, you horrible eight-legged cow. No. Dang. With that old computer powered up, my work here is done. I didn't know you- I didn't know it was like that, but... Phoebus Raccoonus I just need- I just need to go to safe house Give me some money. Six of them. Oh, ow. Oh. Here we go. The seat's gotta go back farther than this. Okay, guys. I'm in a tank. Whoopee, baby. Remember, it's a tank time.
Oh, come on. Oh dang, that was, that was painful. that comic book uh like thing when you defeat an enemy it's kind of fun die already let's go baby Five hundred and thirty, I need I need I just need some
does it take me to the safe house at least? Let's go to paraglider. control over Neela's mercenaries. Sounds great. You'll have to steal a few keys here or there to get access to the more secure areas of the castle. If there's pockets to be picked, I'm your man. First, steal a wiretap and the voice modulator. Then head for the sewers beneath Neela's headquarters. I'm on it. some keys. Oh, this will take a little bit. Hmm. How's it? Pretty good. Wire tap? Oh yeah, that wire tap is perfect. Huh? Another set of guards are up in your binocular. Rob them of their keys to get at the voice modulator. Okay, uh, I need the other one. Where is it? May right over there, maybe. Hold on. Hey, where's he? Okay, it's like right over here. It's 
two keys, two beauties. Mm. I'm kidding. Bye. I posted a lot of security around the voice modulator. This could be tricky. Are you gonna... That's it! You've got the contestant's voice modulator! Let's go put that Oh god, I need health. I should have gotten him for the stealth slam. Oh, wait, what? Shut down the power to the... There's a voice modulator, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Skills. Give me the key already. All right, finally. Sewer entrance. Now head for the runoff drains near the riverside. They should lead to the sewer. Sorry about that. Hold on. Oh, wrong way, wrong way.
Yeah, of course it would, Bentley. Just be quiet, will you? Mer. You'll need to crawl through one of the runoff drains to get to the sewer entrance. Come on. Oh god, octopus. Octopus. Looks like we got lucky. The Contessa's men have already excavated Neela's satellite cable. How should I proceed? Splice in the wiretap, then attach the voice modulator. I'll broadcast from the safe house to make sure it works. This is going to be so cool. So cool. I mean... What you got, Bentley? It's time to wage war on the castle, and in the confusion, pull off a heist I've named Operation High Road. First, Murray will take down the spotlights on the main gate with the codes provided by General Clawfoot. Then, with the help of the voice modulator, I'll order Neela's forces to attack. Sly will then paraglide the two of us over to the Contessa's getaway blimp, and we'll use it to get inside her re-education tower. The assault on the castle will undoubtedly draw the Shadow Guards off their post, and if we free Inspector Fox, she's sure to clear out the Contessa. With the Mind Shuffler exposed, I'll plant the Bad Mojo Bomb, and presto, the clockwork eyes are ours. So if the two of you are ready, Let's take our positions and get this thing started. Yippee! Anyways. All right, Murray. Head for the castle's main gate and power down those searchlights. While you do that, Bentley and I will climb our way up to the top of the castle. Good luck. I hope that general guy told the truth, or this is gonna get ugly. Oh yeah! The lights are down, Bentley. Time to call in the cavalry. I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out. Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces! The castle defenses, defenses are down! Seize this opportunity for aggressive military action by preventing an attack on the castle! Charge! For victory! For glory! That should do it! Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Okay. Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing! I don't want to drown! <sighs> Why is he so why is he so small and sly? I don't even gotta press. Hold on, pal. This could get rough. Alright. Let's head for the re-education tower. Mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Okay, partner. Boom. Like I don't know. 
you ready to photo swing little princess affirmative that iron tech 250 is a fully integrated system access to carbolina's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere hack mode That was a doozy. That should do it. Ah, ah. I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up, and I mean all of them. My dear, you really should. <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! How did you miss that? How did you miss that? It was so bad. That Carmelita, always trying to resolve her problems with a shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic, but I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, chaps. It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing How up. How dare you? Tessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, when should be enough for the old bird? Ta-ta! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But... The plan! It... This wasn't in the plan! Ish. Attention all bombers! Focus your attack on the contestant's blimp! Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turret and stay sharp. Now I'll meet her. How did you fall into that? You really should watch where you're going. Yeah. Actually, Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turn and stay sharp. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. 
Oh god. I wasn't really paying attention for a minute. Oh no, 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 no. Getting shot at. That'll hurt. Of course, that'll hurt. You just just blew up ten planes. Let's go. All clear. Okay, guys, I'm heading out for our rendezvous. Come back here, Contessa. That getaway blimp won't save you. Percival Hades, Sly, can you read me? A carbolina shot out the guidance system, and the blimp's descending at a decidedly unsafe rate. I'm going down. Down. That I belongs to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. <laughs> I don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool. I have no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hands. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, I did. Yeah. I was one shot. I was one hit. So, we can't blame me here, can't you? How did you hit me there? How'd you hit me? Let's go. Enough. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof. I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. Oh, how dare you. She got the eye? Of course she did. She's got the eye. How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelita took the eye, and she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks. Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. Shoot at her tank to end Keep on shelling her to stop that tank. Oh yeah, I'll grab the eye while Carmelita's still stuck in her tank. 
then come around to pick up Bentley for a quick exit. Do what you can, Sly. We'll all hook up at the rendezvous for extraction. Oh God. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna die. What the? I knew you were no match for the guy. I hate you. Just know that. Yes, yes, let's go, baby. You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. Things hadn't gone exactly to plan, but the Contessa was beaten and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crime she committed while working for Interpol. Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Neela, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. I tried to put it all out of my mind. This claw business was spiraling out of control and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. Anyway, it looks like the end of the end of the end of the video. Anyways, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. It helps me um, with motivation. And I love you all. Please, if you can't support me, if, support me in any way. You can share it to your friend. But anyways, I love you all and goodbye.